Everybody's waiting for me. Everybody's talking to me. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Are we hungry? We are? Okay. I have the tuxedo Lego cat head because I don't want food on it in the morning and I don't want Stripe to chew <laughs> and I haven't moved it to its resting spot, which I do know where it's going. I just haven't moved it yet. So it's just sort of tucked back there. All right, well, we had a significant amount of rain, finally, like, around midnight. Let's go check that out in a minute, too. So, you went and did your numbers. It's July the 1st. That's right. Yeah, and he's over here going, let's see, we used more hot water yeah, than I was expecting. more hot water last month. There were three or four times, at least, we did an extra load of dishes during the day. Yeah. And, um, JB was here and Johnny's home. Yeah. JB takes really short showers, but still, somebody got in there with a little bit of hot water. Um, but he's like, the sh he takes shorter showers than Don takes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is. But what else did we do that wasn't good for the month? Uh, I, I, the air conditioning, um, you know, I'm the, it'll be next month. This, this month, July will be a first full month. The thing does chart last seven days, the last, uh, day, what you use today, last seven days, uh, last 30 days, last month, uh, that kind of stuff. So you have various, but you know, the, the data, to get granular data, uh, basically, literally every minute you have to do the day and it'll create a CSV file for uh, the last 24 hours with uh, minute data. And this is the Shelly Puck under the house for That's the big right. air conditioner. Yeah. We're not talking about Johnny's air conditioner. Yeah, it's a little... Um, <gasps> oh, no. So, I'm recording on my usual vlogging camera, and it had a failure. It um, The LCD screen went dark, and um, it looked like it was in time-lapse, or it's got a couple of modes, like where you can take a picture, and it'll build a video or and stuff. It started doing weird things, and... Anyway, I can't use it if I can't see what it's doing at right. all um, with yeah. these little point and shoots. So that's a little unexpected because I thought it was totally okay. I used it yeah. all day yesterday. Everything is fine with it. And then I failed again this morning. So that's either because it's five years old or because of the rain the other day or a combination of the two. Maybe right. something in there corroded after the rain even though I thought I dried it. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to make Don repeat what he was saying. I'm just going to hope that that video's recorded on the card, even though I can't currently see it without doing some gyrations. So anyway, so, this has been here and sitting for a few uh, days, and I'm just, I'm not holding it until October or next, you know, special yeah. event or whatever, but. It looks like a, another Cybertruck. It is. Oh, see, I got lots of Cybertrucks. Because you're going to be a Cybertruck owner. That's right. This wow. one is not official um, Tesla. Like it, though, but, I like yeah, it. I got it off eBay. Yeah. But it has all of the views. And it's, yeah, I, I kind of, yeah. I like it. So, Wait, anyway, you are the you proud you owner of a new Cybertruck cyber shirt. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. And uh, Don said it's actually soggy enough out there. We've gone from too dry to shoot fireworks off to soggier than people are going to want to sit in the grass tonight. Yeah. I think it'll dry off by tonight yeah, enough. It won't matter. Besides the kid, the, the kids at the splash. It's supposed to be 87. Yeah. The kids, they will have the splash pad open a little later tonight until they go to shoot. The, I think they'll close it at 9 a few minutes before the fireworks go yeah. off. So... All I'm saying is some people will be getting wet up there anyway, and hopefully it'll, hopefully it's going to go off good for the town. Don and I are going to have to think about what we're going to do today because the Jeff Wells Trail 
and South Park will be closed. I think if you go up there, you can walk around South Park, but there wouldn't be any place for us to park. They won't let you bring any cars That's into the right. park this morning because they're afraid you won't leave and you'll tr and they don't want any cars in there for the event. Right. And the exhibitors are setting up. But technically, you could go walk around the track, but there's just no place to park up there and you can't get up there through the Jeff Wells Trail. So right. we'll have to think about how we're going to handle that. Right. All right. Tux is happier now. Yes, Marty. Come on. Yeah, see all the water over here? That's uh, usually a good sign of a good rain. Hi, hi, let me get this out of your way. Well, let's see, my old camera failed. Yesterday, I turned this fountain off during the storm and it wouldn't, the pump won't come back on properly. So we'll probably have to put a replacement pump in it. It's fixable. Um, Uncle Sam was down this morning. He was on but down because his hat filled with water so I opened up the zipper got the water out and technically I could turn him back on now but I'm letting him drip for a little bit I'm scared to turn him on that he's gonna fail <laughs> the GFCI has tripped my fountain over here so I've unplugged it and I'm gonna go inside and reset the breaker and normally everything else will come back on which I guess right now it's just the ring camera and the cat hotel so, um, you know, it's just kind of a morning. Oh, oh, yeah. And because, I don't know, can you see that? Because I don't have enough, you know, troubles this morning, I got bit by that ant, and that, that feels really great right now. Let's go see if we can give Panther his pill. I pray every morning when I go on the front porch that he greets me, and even if he's not happy to see me because of the pill, that he greets me, and... You know, it's just not going to be a good outcome there, and that weighs on me very heavily. Hey, Tux. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Are you here? Where are you? There you are. Good morning. I think when Don went under the house, he got a little concerned. He went and he went in one of his safe places. Hi. And, of course, because he knows I want to give him his pill, he doesn't want to come up and see me. Mom could really stand to see you this morning, okay? So what I do is I go inside. He comes to check out the food. I come back. Hopefully he doesn't walk away because he's really into his food. And then I grab him. He let me come down the stairs. Not all the way. He had come up and then gone back down. And anyway, we, we got it in him today. Three tries. Pretty good. Um, oh... It's in him. That's all I can say. It's it's stressful. It's so important to keep him going. And I don't like tormenting him. And has been kind of nice, though, for the first time in his life that he's let me hold him. Well, he's sitting on top of the storage crate in there. And then we just kind of keep him still. But still, I kind of get to snuggle him a little bit. Hi. How are you? Aw, such a good girl. Such a good girl. So that appears to show right at an inch. And this one is showing an inch and two tenths. I don't know. Um, that's what we got. I'd say it would I would say it would be accurate to say that we got at least an inch. We haven't a hundred percent decided what we're doing, but um we're out in the car now. Yeah. And I guess he left his well that's not the one he was on, the one over there, but anyway, we did see the hawk up in the branch right before we left. Butterflies are all over the yard today. Oh we got a tree limb down. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Who set it there? It just fell there? It's pretty good size. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. It could have fell. I and just landed there? Yeah. Well, the guy ain't mowed the grass today to move it. Well, they look somewhat serious about not wanting people to go on the trail this morning. The thing of it is, though, is you can walk on the trail. You just can't enter South Park. 
They don't want you near the fireworks in ball field three. I get it, but the whole trail, yeah. I told Don I actually wanted to drive just a little bit before we decided what we were gonna do to walk. Um, as I expected, they'll have somebody at both entrances to South Park and they, unless you have business in there today, they won't let you in. Yeah. And like I said, they ain't gonna let you in today. So we're over here at the Fuqua Verena Library and they have a little uh, detention pond here. And uh, she's over here taking pictures. It's a beautiful day, it's sunny, it's not hot, humidity is really low. It's like one of those days that you, know, uh, you wish for all the time. It's beautiful. Well, I did walk all the way around the retention pond and there's a lot of um, hardy hibiscus down there, pinks and whites. And a few years since I stopped at the mayor's house to take pictures. How to use your Tesla to scope out fireworks spots. We're here at the church parking lot and there's where they're going to put the fireworks off at. It's basically right there. The only problem is, is those trees really are probably a little too tall and the field's a little too low. Right, the field is down a little bit lower. That's right, we're a little higher than the field right now. So I suspect some people may come to the church to try to watch the fireworks, but I don't know how good it's gonna be. Right. We're out on the trail now, and yep, we walked right past that barricade. But I just wanna say that last year I got upset, I think, because I looked yeah. and the town said the trail closed at like 5 p.m. They just come and put the barricade up because they ain't coming back over late in the day. When they set them all out, they set them out or whatever. Beside, like I said, this, the thing is, is they just don't want people entering South Park and we're just going to turn around at the top of the hill and come right back the way we came. No fuss, no muss, so. Yeah. It kind of be like trying to tell the people over here that they couldn't be in their own backyard. And we're way far away from the fireworks over here. Yeah, well, see, I wouldn't have put the barricades down here. I put them way up there at the top. That way the people would have to walk all the way up to the top of the train. I told him to stop being like that. The second time he said it today, he's so proud of himself. Don't get him to exercise. Right. Well, I was really pondering if it's really that unsafe to be on the trail, even coming into South Park, because... The splash pad and even where they have the barricades, the stage is really close to the ball field where the fireworks are. They don't send them off in the corner near the sign for the trail. They set them off like right out in the middle of the outfield. So why could they not let people come and go from the park? I don't know. I guess because one person will do something stupid. So therefore all the families that would like to access the park from the trail can't do it. Okay, Donnie, this is where I want to be, on this side of the barrier, right here. They are out there setting them up now. They got a rider truck and... Yep, there they be. Yeah, we were getting caught up on videos and Don fell asleep, which means we watch whatever comes on next and... I got to watch twice because Don woke up and realized he missed something good and then backed it up. A video put out by a couple of linemen in Canada where they were swapping out a transformer. And the little boy, civil engineer and Don, he's just fascinated with it. I, 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 t I had a couple of non-particularly technical um, things I learned. You know, they got to keep the bucket a certain distance away from the, the live wires and they have ways to do that. And there are lightning arresters and squirrel protectors up there. And he showed what they were, explained what would happen to the poor squirrels if they didn't put the squirrel guard up and explained why that saves the squirrel. And, you know, so from an animal rights or animal welfare perspective, it was pretty interesting. Well, that means no more well done squirrel. Donnie, should I kick him for you? No, don't. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. So, one of our viewers 
suggested that I can think about replacing or repairing this insulated suction line. Um, you know, because it was sweating and had uh, the insulation had uh, deteriorated in the sun. So I've got a new new piece of foam. I took the old foam off. This, however, is not outdoor foam. It, it says it's okay for indoor or covered. So I am putting this um, foam, aluminum foil foam over the top of it. And before I put that top piece on there, I thought I'd show you. I've wrapped the jo joints and did it as best I can. Um, the liquid line, the little one, is not wrapped. It, it, trust me, it was tough to get the insulation because they, that liquid line was running right up against um, the suction line. And of course, uh, that's less than ideal. But um, it is what it is, and I didn't want to mess with it. So um, I'm just carefully slid the insulation between the liquid line and the suction line. This is one of those split ones. And then I carefully uh, squeezed it back together. And then I put a uh, some of my air conditioning tape, aluminum foil, just tape. This is just the tape. And that holds the crack together so it keeps it from separating. And then I'm gonna complete this um, foil backed aluminum foam and give a little bit more insulation but it will also uh, hopefully protect it from the UV and then I'll probably um, wrap a little bit of um, of the that around it just to hold everything together because you know this is this is separating but I can tell you I've uh, had that on foam before and then after it sits there for a while that tape right there will not come off the foam it you will rip the foam apart before you pull that tape off so it won't be long before it, it's permanent. Don's having fun with insulation. That's right. And I thought I'd have a little fun with stilt grass. All right, there oh. it is. All right, I've done it all up. I'm pretty happy with it. I think uh, it should hold up, hopefully, for another um, 10 years. Um, that's how old this unit is. It was put in uh, 13. I, actually, it'll be 11 years old in October so uh, you know it lasted pretty well we've not had any trouble with it knock on wood or I guess That's metal. yeah I knocked on wood I found some wood anyway um, uh, our goal is with this is for it to last until Elon and Tesla comes out with a home HVAC solution and when they do I'll be the first one to put the money down because as you know um, when he comes out with it, it takes, you know, several more years before they actually ship. So anytime, anything after 15 years uh, old, I, I'll be happy with this. So um, we're in that window now where I would put my name down on a, on a paper and tell Elon to come out here and uh, replace my HVAC system. Of course, I don't really want to be one of the first ones. I think I want to be the, you know, like th third or fourth year uh, of them. So anyway... Uh, hurry up, Elon. Come up with that HVAC heat pump system, please. Well, I didn't quite finish in there, but um, that's fine. Um, it's not bad in there at all. I did all mostly in this part. It's, you know, maintained. I'm in maintenance mode now because I got it, you know, pretty good. Really got to get back across the bridge, but it's not happening today. Since I chiropractors close for 4th of July week tomorrow and I don't get to go I don't want to overdo it today because I don't have an out if I need help you know what I'm saying I just discovered Japanese beetles yeah I didn't think they were out so bad today but they are let me get these guys off of well, here I didn't see Hummer today but um, that doesn't mean he wasn't out here and here's another flower getting ready to open so that's cool. Oh, Marianne's new multi-level fountain. Uh, the pump started making a funny noise and it wasn't pumping any water. And if you looked, you could see the impeller kind of trying to spin. And it's like, well, okay, I don't know. So I said, well, let me, um, you know, get the take the hose off and unwind the cord from all the bushes and you know get it in here where I can take a look at it and so of course I just took my spudger 
and I popped it open and I found the bug. Literally, I have found the bug. Anyway, we'll put it back together, put it back out there. Hopefully it'll work and it'll make her happy. She's had a rough day. One thing's for certain, now that we've had rain, I'm going to be needing to mow sooner than later. Don triaged this pump and did everything he could to get it back going and it's toast. It, it comes on and it makes a lot of noise, but it won't spin the water. And uh, we just went and got one of our backup pumps, which he's hooking up now. I bought the, um, what is it, the summer cottage, the seaside, the bed and breakfast, the bed and breakfast back. The kitty's in the shelf over there. Um, we, we swapped places. And I have another bed and breakfast set, and I'm loading it up in my bins. I'm not going to start it today, but... Um, I'll have the parts ready to go because you know I want to build the hinge the back side. Yep, all sorted out and uh, ready to go. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. We're here at our spot. There's nobody here yet, Donnie. Yeah. I'm a little surprised we're actually a few minutes late, later than normal. And um, yeah, I'd be really. We, we drove by this morning and I hoped that that pine tree or this tree here was gone. <laughs> nope. Maybe one of these years, but maybe. not this year. We'll miss a little bit of low-to-the-ground stuff, but I agree with Don. Who says if we went into South Park with all of the people crowded up there that we'd have any better view? That's right. And I agree. Let's sit, show them your shirt. Yep, I guess I got you that between last year and this year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First yeah. Really time, first, nice first yeah, first 4th of July it's wear. Indeed. Yep, I see.
Yeah! Woo! Wow, it shook the whole ground, Donnie. Yeah, that shook was impressive. Don says I need a before and after of the bridge. So this is the before and um yeah tomorrow you'll see the after yeah it's supposed to still be pretty nice weather here tomorrow we got 32 clips to mount to 32 do, huh yep 32 clips come with i got confidence in you they can't see you but i've yeah. got confidence in you we enjoyed the fireworks very nice it was one of the better ones that's yeah fine. it was good